Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and also, there's corn. <laughs> you can get Corn Star merch in the link in the description. I don't see any. So this morning we're gonna give the dump truck some attention and we're gonna finish filling this load. Then we're gonna bring that into the scrapyard. We need to use this dump truck tomorrow, so I need to get this metal out of here. Okay, right, let's get this thing loaded. Come on, Bass. Hey, Ma, we got a fit! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but Cole's a little excited today. Guys, I tell you what, I searched and searched for a really long time to find some scrap metal to put under the dump truck. Okay, I'm kidding. I have a lot of scrap metal. And now the dump truck's full. I purposely put the big awkward stuff on here because it's got to go to the scrapyard at some point and I didn't want to spend all morning getting this thing loaded because I have other stuff I have to do today. So it's a good trip to get rid of the awkward stuff. Now we're going to try to get out of here and not get stuck. Don't worry, corn. We're going to be harvesting you soon. Oh, you want a high five? I'm guessing this is going to be a lighter load. Uh, 2,600 pounds, $111. My guess is 1,500 pounds, $100. Oh my goodness. The scrapyard is full. And I thought my junkyard was bad. And she's done it. Cole, where are you going? I don't know what to do. I guess I'm hanging out in the junkyard today. Honestly, I wouldn't mind hanging out here for a little bit. <laughs> I get to learn some new things, meet some new scrapyard buddies, and play in the giant junkyard pile. Oh yeah, I'd climb all that. You didn't leave me. It was a difficult decision. Big jump. It's a big old pile. Scrapyard's always kind of fun because it's kind of interesting to look on the pile and see what other people brought in. She gets the check because I watched her work too hard on your YouTube All right. videos. Uh, there you go. Thank you. I like you. Thank you. All right. The scrapyard lady said that I had to give Nava the check. I like her. 3,360. I was closer so I get the check. <laughs> No. All right, everybody, everybody, we're going to be brave today. I gave Sable the keys to the tractor. She's going to go out and play with it for a while. Does she look nervous? Does she look nervous? But that's the way to do it. Just let them play around with the tractor for a while. It's the only way they're going to get to know it. This is a whole new tractor for Sable, and I want her to feel comfortable, so I figured I'm going to grease up the combine. i got to fuel it up. Remember when you were four years old and you were learning how to drive a tractor? Dad throws you in the seat, gives you a quick, this is what you do, and then you take off and you go and you go have fun. All right, we better get greasing this thing up and getting it ready. Thunder Creek! We're going to fill up the combine. I like this little trailer. It's got a shutoff on the nozzle. So you can be doing other stuff while it's filling up. Nice thing I like about this trailer too, it does have a battery up front. It has a solar pack up here, so solar charges the battery. So if you're not able to hook it up to the combine or anything like that, you can hook it up to the battery. So that's really nice. I do have a handheld radio up here, so if Sable has any trouble, she can give me a call. But otherwise, I'm just letting her have fun out there. So now it seems like forever and a half now, I've been talking about straightening the edge of the driveway. That way we have a nice straight line between the driveway and the yard. And today we are finally going to get to that. The ground is still too wet to combine, so this is the perfect time to do it because I need to get rid of mini Cornstar Mountain that Neva is trying to conquer, as well as Cornstar Mountain. So first things first, we're going to find a string and we're going to make an endpoint here. And we're going to make one all the way at the end of the driveway. Then I got some flags, so that way we can mark our line and then I have a 20 foot board over there that we're gonna lay between the dirt and the yard so that way I can dump my rock without worrying about spilling over too far. You know what they say there ain't nothing to it but to do it. String line oh string line where art thou? Found it! A while I was over here I got something digging under my house. I know what we can do why don't you crawl in there and find out what's digging in the house. No, you're smaller than me. <laughs> yeah I don't think so. Well it has claws because it's like scratches like that. It's most definitely a raccoon. I'm putting my money on a groundhog. Sable, what happened to the auger? It's gone. Oh, okay. No, I folded it in. <laughs> All right. She folded it in. Well, how was it? Good. Fun? You'll do great. And if she doesn't do great, it will be on the video so all of you can see. I told Sable too, if something goes wrong, it could happen to me. It could happen to Cole. It could happen to Cooper. 
it could happen to any of us so as long as we're trying to be careful and everything that is the main thing and we don't want anybody ever hurt so she'll do great she'll do great so here's how it's going i got my stake to end over here now we're gonna walk to the end of the driveway and we're gonna keep this taut i think we're gonna run out of string before we get to the end but we'll see it, it it'll make more sense as we keep doing this <laughs> oh, don't do walk that. in the grass don't walk in the grass navo you're walking in the grass <laughs> Straight. Oh, babe, wow. No, that's good. That's really good. And now, you guys, Cole's trusting me with his driveway. He's gonna let me take all this gravel and he's gonna let me spread it out all throughout this driveway right here. I'm a little nervous because he's trusting me with this, but you know what, guys? I may not know what I'm doing, but I sure will try. Good luck, Neva. This could be interesting. Camera tripod. That is such a beautiful green. It's gonna look a lot different having a straight edge, that's for sure. We just pulled in over here and Neva comes running up. She blew a cylinder out on the skid loader. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound really good. Well, good thing you noticed that Neva, you did the right thing, just shutting it off. Now you gotta do everything by hand. Are them 916s? All right, and you think the list is about over? <laughs> it just grows back, don't it? Oh, there's a rubber seal down here looks like it blew out i guess probably been years and years and years since that thing's been redone or it's the original one and it just puked out like cooper says about the time you think you get the list smaller or things to do boom if you guys know if it goes around and around the motor starts and it goes click 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 things break here we have it ladies and gentlemen a straight clear cut edge of the driveway just like we've been talking about for several months we finally got it done i actually ran out of rock right when i got to here and i ended up having to scrape a little bit off the driveway somewhere else for this last dump there is one little area i do need a little extra rock i'd like to make this area curved that way it's just a nice swooping kind of driveway basically what we did is two years ago we completely redid this driveway it used to be 20 feet wide we made it over 40 feet wide we actually brought this half up about five feet and then we came in over the top with three inch rock that way we'd have a really nice base and now it's had plenty of time to pack in thousands of semis have ran over this so it's kind of like concrete that's what we got that little roadstone for now to put on top so that way it'll be nice and smooth driving and walking over these big rocks is just difficult and half the time you feel like you're gonna pop a tire and as i was spreading this rock out daddy cornstar mentioned that i should probably leave this little berm right here in front of this area that doesn't have any grass growing yet because that's gonna kind of act like a little bit of a water barrier so over there and over here we're seated about three weeks ago i seeded this last week after i fixed all the washed out areas the kentucky bluegrass should just be ready to pop its little head out looks like cole's working on the driveway now between the driveway and his yard I'm guessing by 2026, this should be done. Cole's trying to spread out the driveway rock. Gotta let it cool down for a second. We do need to get <clears throat> a new glass for the door. Yeah, why? Keeps you warmer in there when there's glass on the door to close. No, 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 what I'm saying is what happened to the door? It's down at my place with no window in it. What happened to the window? I think when I was pulling the skid loader to the cemetery one time, the only thing I can guess is a rock flipped off of the ground up. It was broke when I got to the cemetery. Hey there, fans! I got a lot of fans waving at me tonight. Hey, guys! Well, we'll we're out here looking at the augers. We might as well go check out the corn, see if it's drying down. Just trying to see if I can find an ear here is dry. Hmm. That corn feels pretty dang good. They were nice sized kernels. When we get started in corn, it'd be nice to tackle some of the fields that we know that are mangled up kind of bad. That way we can get them out. If we get a little damp spell or something, we could get into the corn that's standing better. We got quite a few fields that I think are gonna be fine to run the combine, but we do got a couple. They're mangled up a little bit. Oh, <gasps> let's see. I'm not finding what I wanna find. Right now we are entering the auger graveyard. I wonder what that auger is. It looks wore out right there. But what if we cut it back? Boom! Maybe that flighting looks really, really good. There's a possibility. Possibility with this one. I'm excited. It could work. I'm sure when I show the boys, they'll be excited. They'll be jumping up and down and saying, are you crazy, Dad? It's wore out. But no, I think it could work. Cooper did say it needs to be 30 feet, though. I gotta measure. I gotta measure it. 
out of all our choices <laughs> this is probably our only only one that might be able to work for us well that one's nine feet we might be able to make something here we just need this auger to last for 80 semi loads maybe i got the camera focused in again half time i bump it and i was like and i'm getting hungry How long have you been filming the porn stars? I've been filming them for almost two years same with me do you like your job yeah i really do daddy cornstar he's a super great guy to work with they're all super super nice well buddy i gotta get back to filming or he might put me back in the box and say i'm not doing my job well nice talking to you you bet talk to you on the side you mean like over here you want to talk to me on the side no i mean like i'll talk to you later buddy for some of you new ones watching the videos you should click back to when he first started fixing up the place I mean, even in my height, it looks totally, totally different. I can't believe all the changes. This kind of shows everybody, when you put your mind to it, take the time. You don't have to do it all in one day. You've realized it here, it's been over a big period. We've got a lot to go yet. My battery just died. Sorry to stop like that. It got dark out. Why do I always find myself laying on the ground? Just take a look. It's quite the transformation, isn't it? We'll get that all smoothed down. We'll get some more of this rock throughout the entire driveway. Hopefully sooner than later, this grass will start growing and then we can move on to another project. And I just noticed I need to fix this line because that bulged out a little bit. Oh, let's see, do we got any grass coming up? Oh yeah, guys, if we look really close, we can see we got some little baby pieces of Kentucky bluegrass popping through the dirt. That's what we like to see. <laughs> it's just a matter of time now. Well, I think that pretty much sums up everything. Remember guys, we have Cornstar Farms merch video through the link in the description. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget hit the thumbs up button. Oh my, I almost forgot one major announcement. Pit Viper sunglasses, you guys remember, you know, the ones you can order through the link in the description and get 15% off on. Yeah, these. Sometime within the next week, they said they're gonna be restocked. So if you haven't known, they've been sold out for the past three months and they're going to sell out extremely quickly once they come out. So what I'm saying is, be ready. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>